Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe this channel and press bell icon to get notification. And if you want the video on some specific topic, please let us know in comment box. This is a short and unique video on boiler drum level transmitter calibration. In this video, I will take one example to explain you, how to calculate lower range value and upper range value of DP transmitter, when differential pressure transmitter is used to measure level of boiler drum. So, please watch this video till the end. Now, let's go to an example. As you can see from the diagram, the first step in the calibration is to define the process variables. For example, P0 is static pressure in the steam drum at the top tap. In this example, we assume that static pressure is 24-25 pounds per square gauge at the top tap. The next process variable is DS, which is the density of saturated steam at operating condition. In this example, DS is 7.33 pounds per feet cube at 24-25 pounds per square gauge operating pressure. The other process variable is DW, which means the density of saturated water at operating conditions. In this example, DW is 35.49 pounds per feet cube at 24-25 pounds per square gauge operating pressure. And D0 is the density of water in the wet leg. In this example, D0 is 61.93 pounds per feet cube at 41 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. Use the value for compressed water in the wet leg at the expected ambient temperature. However, if the compressed water table is not available, use the reciprocal of the specific volume of saturated water at the ambient temperature. Since water is nearly incompressible. In order to find process variable values at operating condition, you need to use saturated steam table. As you can see, this equation calculates the differential pressure on the transmitter at 0% level. And this equation calculates the differential pressure on the transmitter at 100% level. To convert all units to consistent inches of water column, I have divided this equation by D0. In this equations, H is the distance between the high and low drum taps. In this example, it is 30 inches. H max is the maximum water level allowed, which is measured from the bottom tap. In this example, it is 40 inches. H min is minimum water level allowed, which is measured from the bottom tap. In this example, it is 10 inches. Now, let's go to calculation steps. First of all, let's calculate lower range value of this transmitter. It is also 4 mA output value of transmitter. Now, put all the process variables values into this equation, and do the simple math calculation to find lower range value. When you do the math calculation, you will get minus 21.90 inches of water column. In other words, when differential pressure value is minus 21.90 inches water column, the transmitter output will be 4 mA DC. Similarly, at 100% level, the transmitter output will be 20 mA DC. Now, put all the process variables values into this equation, and do the simple math calculation to find the upper range value. When you do the math calculation, you will get minus 8.26 inches of water column. This is the upper range value of DP transmitter. In other words, differential pressure is minus 8.26 inches of water column at 100% level. To conclude, the differential pressure is highest, when the drum water level is lowest. And the differential pressure is lowest, when the level is highest. Therefore, the transmitter zero must be elevated so that an increasing level results in an increasing output signal. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. And if you think our content is informative for you and others, then please like and share this video with your friends.